Are they song titles or just insight into Taylor's life at the moment? There are so many messages in the Ready For It music video, so let's break it down. What's going on, you lovely people? Lisa here, and Taylor Swift just released her new music video for Ready For It. And as one does when Taylor Swift releases a new video, especially as of recent, we all put on our thinking caps, maybe our Taylor Swift sweater, and we spend a long time trying to pick the video apart for hidden messages or symbolism. Now on first glance, I was like, whoa, this video is so cool. It feels like some ghost in the shell mixed with maybe some Star Wars and Tron, and it looks like there's like a Power Ranger type thing at one point, some bad blood in there. It's just visually very cool and beautiful. Those visual effects are on point, so much so that it deserved another watch, but this time I gave it a closer look. Let's start with the hidden messages that appear in the graffiti in the alleyway as dark side Sith Taylor, as I want to call her, makes her way to the light side Taylor. First, there's an 89 and a 91, which many are speculating represent obviously Taylor's birth year, but also her current boyfriend Joe Alwyn's birth year. As she continues to walk, there's a 13, All Eyes on Us is written, as well as This Is Enough, what looks like I Loved You in Secret or I Love You in Secret. There's also a heart with a crown on it like the clatter ring, which means various things, but in this case I'm assuming it's that she's taken and happy in a relationship. There's You Are Gorgeous, This Is Enough is on the wall again, and I feel like this says something too, but I can't really make it out. On the door to enter the warehouse, Illusions is written, as well as maybe some other clues. You can kind of see Joseph written there, as well as in other places throughout the alleyway as well. Now this could reference either her boyfriend Joe or director Joseph Kahn. Some people out there that know zodiac signs and Chinese symbols realize that there is the symbol for the year of the snake in the video, which is Taylor's zodiac year. Later, there's also the quote, they're burning all the witches on the staircase. Now, when it comes to all these hidden written messages, there's a lot of speculation that these could possibly be song titles from the upcoming album, especially since You Are Gorgeous is included and Gorgeous is obviously one of her songs. As far as the quote, they're burning all the witches, some think that that might be a song lyric from one of her upcoming songs, or a reference to possibly the Salem witch trials. Also, since the media seems to build up these images of people, if something goes wrong, people are really quick to snap to judgment and basically burn a witch at the stake without really digging into the truth. Now, after browsing the web, it seems like this witch message is the one that has people confused the most. As far as the actual meaning of the music video, it's very much in the lines of look what you made me do. It's trying to set free the real Taylor. After years of the media and others building up this image of Taylor that she's had to kind of live with or live up to, and she's been put in like a cage or a box, the real Taylor is finally ready to, well, in the words of Troy Bolton, she's Sorry guys, if you know me, you know that I cannot pass up an opportunity for a high school musical reference. It's a bad problem that I have. All right, so those are my initial thoughts about the video as a whole. So now let's dive a little deeper into some of the theories that I've found from all of you on the internet. And don't yell at me if I miss any because there's literally endless possibilities of theories and meanings and until Taylor actually says what things mean, which she probably won't. It's all speculation, right? Here's a few of the favorites that I did find. In the teasers Taylor posted for the video, Timeless Taylor thought the coloring and the lightning bolts looked very similar to the cover art for This Is What You Came For that she wrote with Calvin Harris. So is this a dig at Calvin Harris for some reason? In one scene, we see Cyborg Taylor on a white horse, which some see as a reference to the white horse in blank space. For me, I feel like it's kind of a reference to Taylor's song White Horse, which was on her Fearless album, and maybe how after that album she was kind of riding high because after she's on the horse we see her start to float up and kind of look happy then the evil taylor bursts her bubble and knocks her back to the ground making her feel helpless and i feel like after fearless is when the media and everyone really started to get fascinated with taylor's life and who she was dating and that's really where that image started to be created and that cage was starting to be built around her that's just my two cents on that portion anyway. Now when Cage Taylor reclaims her power and blows the face off evil Taylor exposing her as a robot, 
kind of re-emphasizes that for years, Taylor has just felt like a robot controlled by what people in the media think of her. When the cyborg Taylor's eyes light up blue at the end of the video, she took over the power from the evil Taylor because at the beginning of the video, we saw evil Taylor's eyes light up blue and now cyborg Taylor's eyes are blue. It's kind of like the awakening and the freeing of the real Taylor. She's finally alive. Taylor also ends up rediscovering her own power without the help of anyone really actually like evil taylor ends up giving her strength in a way to finally break free and she destroys the evil taylor and now she's stronger than ever and can be heard on tumblr taylor liked a post from this fight is worthwhile who has some really great observational skills she points out just how the lyrics of the song actually correlate to which version of taylor is singing and it's just so good that i'm going to give you a minute to actually read it Here are a few other observations that I really like. Alright, so I'm guessing long story short here, the main narrative is Taylor regaining her power over the image that's been created for her through the media and other people's narratives. Now she's fully regained her power, her confidence in herself, and she's broken out of that cage and she's ready to be the real Taylor. So did I get it? Am I completely off base? I feel like that's a lot of what I read and what a, the consensus was as I you know, thought about the video myself and then scrolled through Twitter and Tumblr. Well, I know if I didn't get it, you all will be the first to comment down below that I didn't. And I'm sure there's gonna be plenty of people calling me stupid. It's just part of being on YouTube, right? Anyway, I know there are probably tons of other hidden messages and symbolism in the video I didn't touch on. So if you caught some of those, just leave them down in the comments below, as well as let me know your favorite part of the video. And what do you think is going to come from the rest of her album? We know she's already made another music video we can expect after this, so she is on a roll. Is she making a visual album, maybe? I don't know. Also, did you think some of those messages that were in the video were maybe song titles or lyrics? You guys know what to do, and if you missed my breakdown of the Look What You Made Me Do music video, you can catch that right over here. And for the millionth time, if you go watch it, I'm sorry that I didn't know what a freaking Bugatti looked like. I'm not rich. I don't care about rich cars. <laughs> anyway, I'm Lisa. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and playing detective.